Hi everyone. There's been plenty of confusion with the new rules to the highway code. Um, there's been plenty of uh, media outlets and uh, influencers talking about their own opinions. Um, and if I was honest, a lot of them aren't quite right. Uh, there's a few things that I'd like to do today. I'm going to try and go through each of these rules. And as we are of today, this is Saturday the 29th of January. This is the day that these rules came live as I'm fil filming this now. Um, and there's still not been clarification on a few points. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let you know of my opinion on how these things are going to work. This isn't definitive. And this is from a driving instructor who regularly posts driving education stuff on YouTube. So um, that's the first little rant. Um, I even got just this morning an email from the Department of Transport to tell me that the uh, the changes have been made. Um, there's been very little um, official stuff in the media. It's down to interpretation and a lot of people's interpretation are wrong. I am hearing plenty of stories saying that it's going to be dangerous if you're having to slow down for a pedestrian that's crossing a junction. Now I'm going to try and um, help people with these uh, these things today. Um, it will be a problem if you're not very skilled at driving, as simple as that. But if you are skilled at driving, um, it's probably not going to be a big deal. I don't think it's going to be a big deal to me. But I'm just going to try and put across a few of my little ideas on how we can keep everyone safe. And I'm talking about not just this from a motorist perspective as well, um, but from uh, a lorry driver's perspective, a bus driver's perspective, and also a cyclist's perspective. And they're particularly, um, I think, at danger from um, rear-end shunts when you're giving way to, to a pedestrian. Um, and the other thing that I'm going to deal with today as well, a lot of people haven't realised, but it's at certain roundabouts as well, and even some traffic light control junctions we still may have to give way to two pedestrians crossing the road um, i'm going to try and engineer a few situations it's really difficult for me to do because i can't guarantee where people are going to be but um, i've come to a little area that i know well i'm in formby uh, this is where i got bought up so i know every single road um, and there's a little place in formby village um, that's got a nice roundabout on that usually is going to be full of people especially on a Saturday afternoon so hopefully there's going to be a few situations that I can engineer but let's have a little look and see what we can cover. Now the other thing as you've probably noticed um, I'm in the Alecki one today so this is another thing that is going to be um, a little bit problematic for pedestrians they're not going to um, not going to see me let's just wash the windscreen and turn those wipers off they can be a little bit uh, funny on this car get off if we can do it off sorted um, I am going to have a rant about these uh, screens and the ability to uh, to deal with all of what's on offer here on a Tesla and other vehicles as well in a in a video soon but today like I said we're going to be concentrating on the highway code stuff um, the uh, the videos that are put out on the consultation a few of the bits of information have changed if you didn't see my last video about the rant um, about people on social media and on uh, national broadcasting um, just stating their opinions as opposed to giving facts uh, if you didn't see that video I did mention a little bit about a few of the rules um, have actually tweaked from what I put across in my consultation videos um, I did say in those videos that um, little bits and bobs of the information that um, I was giving out may very well change and a few things have changed I'm quickly going to outline them uh, the passing distances for cyclists is 1.5 or meters up to 30 miles an hour. Um, they've pulled the two meters um, above 30. I'm not sure I'm in total agreement with that. But anyway, if you are going faster past the cyclist, you need to give them loads more space. Please do. Um, another thing that's changed: they've taken the um, the lorries um, need to be at least two meters away from cyclists and lorries and buses and bigger vehicles. I'm not sure about that either. Um, they've also changed and tweaked the uh, speed when passing um, horses. Um, it was in the consultation, it was going to be two meters up to 
um, 15 miles an hour or no more than 15 it's now gone down to 10 miles an hour you still need to give two meters um, but it's down to 10 so like I said there are a few changes and this is just today it's Saturday the 29th of January where I am now so honestly if I'm a driving instructor and I've just been uh, told these changes it really proves that the uh, the media um, sort of like uh, information that's been given out by uh, the, uh, the people who make these rules Department of Transport has been terrible so um, let's have a little look um, here we are entering into Formby Village, it's quite a slow road, it's a 20 limit but rightly slow, there are a fair few people about, I'm going to take opportunities as well if I see something um, on how to deal with it. Now I'm going to deal with this left turn here first of all with the, uh, the person on the mobility scooter, if I was turning left there I've got plenty of time to finish comfortably before that person gets there so that's not a problem. Let's have a little look, see if there's any pedestrians about here to the right. No, there's not, so I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to continue down. Uh, one of the things that I've heard people say as well is about people are just going to be walking out on roads like this. That rule has not changed. Stay there, white one. Um, that rule has not changed. People still need to find the correct time to move across um, normal roads they can't just walk out but this scenario is perfect we've got people here to the right hand side who are crossing now i'm going to turn right and i'm going to give way to them that's what we should do and i can't finish before this lady on the left so i'm going to give way i can clear before the guy on the right so that's fine and i can enter onto the roundabout no bothers there's no pedestrian crossing area here apart from the pedestrian crossing. So at that pedestrian crossing, it's got a control. It's got some lights um, and a box, or a control box that the pedestrians can utilize and press. So those scenarios controlled by traffic lights um, aren't areas where we have to give way, but I'm gonna go and try and find one a little bit later if I can, where it still could be controlled by lights and you would still, um, have to give way if there's no control box. So that was an ideal opportunity. Would that be something that you would have thought of um, approaching a roundabout? Well, um, if it's not, it is something that you do need to do. There are pedestrian crossing areas here, so if there was someone here, I would have to give way. Deal with the roundabout as normal. Are there any crossing areas here? Yes. So again, I would have to give way to pedestrians if they wish to cross that area. I'm going to continue on with my left turn. Are there any crossing areas here? No. So I'm all, all right to carry on. I'm fine to continue. So this is the first thing. Think about how much I verbalised there just doing that little section. Um, and I'm not talking about every single thing that I'm looking at. It's impossible to. But this is the key that I'm talking about, that poor drivers won't be able to do that. What they will be doing is steaming into things and then reacting. And it's that sharp, late reaction that's gonna cause a heavy stop that's then gonna cause danger with people behind. And that's exactly the same with cyclists. And that's why cyclists are gonna be mostly at risk. It's when they steam into something and then suddenly think, there's a pedestrian there and they've got a slam on the anchors. That is a danger with people behind. So all in all, when I hear people saying this is gonna be chaos, they don't see the bigger picture. They don't really see for what these updates are worth. It's gonna slow people down at junctions and it's only people's impatience that then comes across in these comments and these posts and these videos that I've been watching over the last number of weeks. It's poor drivers and a poor attitude that's gonna be the problem. So I'm gonna have a go at the same roundabout again. I'm gonna turn right, because there's a lady there. She looks as though she's clear. So notice my assessment is really early. Can you stay there, white one? Thought he was gonna come out there. So I would be fine waiting on this roundabout if that lady was gonna cross. These people around, no, I don't have to give way to them. They're just crossing the road. They're not crossing at a junction. We're not going in or out of a junction. So they 
have to wait and they have to find their own way to cross. If I was turning left, I would wait for this lady here. So you have to plan things really nice and early. The other thing that I've seen a lot of is the statements that people are making of, oh, people don't know what's going on. Agreed. Um, I think the people, um, the pedestrians need a fair bit of educating also because, um, to be honest, I've tried this a few times even before today. Um, and what I've found is it's that ingrained in people that um, they've got to wait for the cars is that they just sit there um, or stand there and just sort of like go into a, a little bit of a trance. Um, there's Tony, sorry. Um, so there, it's a guy who I, uh, I train to be a driving instructor. He'll probably ring me now because he's probably spotted the car. So if my phone goes off, I'm just going to button him anyway. But anyway, um, going back to what I've said, yeah, the people um, are generally the problems um, because when I've tried to give way and I've clearly showed I'm not going, um, they stand there. And this is the body language issue, which I've, I've gone on a lot about over the past um, couple of months, to be honest, about people don't read body language and they don't. A lot of uh, YouTube channels um, and even people who do a lot with driving and the legalities behind driving have also said about this and it sort of blows me away that people are just um, stuck on the, uh, the, the, the fact that they're just staring at people and they don't actually read what's going on. You've got to tell this story. Um, if you want to give way, don't be impatient and just because someone doesn't get it straight from the off, don't go, oh, and then move again, because it's that change of mind. It's changing from one to the other, which then causes the confusion. If you've got to give way, and there's a pedestrian there who should be crossing the road before you're going, wait. Just sit there. They'll soon get the idea. You don't need to flash. You don't need to beckon. You just sit and wait. So I've sussed out these pedestrians already to the right-hand side. They're not near the crossing area. My other road's clear, there's no one crossing from either side. So all this needs to be sorted out before you get there. Hopefully we can have another scenario where we've got some more pedestrians. Okie dokie. Um, distance to vehicles on the left, at least the door's width. If you're faster, you need to be further away. Right, let's have a little look going to go ahead into Formby Village this time. There's two people that have just crossed that I've just missed. Let's have a little look. So we give way to anyone from the right and that could mean people from the opposite side turning. Um, yeah, I can make my way onto the roundabout. Is there anyone uh, crossing? No. So I'm all okay. You can continue a little further up. All right, we will get another one. I'm sure we will. All right. So um, it's not a big difficulty if you're approaching at the correct speed. If you're zooming into things and bonnet licking, as I call it, looking down there right over the front, um, you're not going to give yourself enough time. So a reduce of your speed early over a longer distance gives you more think and do time. And it is also much safer with people from the back. So I'm going to go down this road again. Um, there are no people crossing immediately, but these people on the right, uh, this family here to the right hand side, they were crossing here. Now that's, an, that's a little area that I'd like to mention as well. Um, there's been a fair bit comment wise about how close to a junction, so that lady to the right she should have waited and did wait. But notice, um, although she set foot on a the road there as well, it was really important to work out the body language that she wasn't thinking of crossing in front of me, she was going behind. And that's where people stick to relig religiously to the rules. They'll go, oh, she's on the road, you gotta give way. Not there, no, she showed her intentions clearly, so read that. So going back to what I was saying, oh, this lady on the left, do I have to give way? No, I don't. Now she's set foot on the road, I am just gonna sit, show a clear body language, and she was 
thankful that I did that. But that scenario, that was just me being nice and me being kind with no other traffic. She was obviously ready to cross. So I showed her clearly that I wasn't going. I sat still. Going back to what I was saying about how close to a junction has the crossing area got to be. I actually don't know. Again, this has not been clarified, but this crossing area here is obviously for this roundabout. So yeah, that's what I would say. Use your common sense. People are looking for this black and white, definitive legal argument all the time of who's got priority. Nah, just do your best to keep traffic flowing and look after people. It's actually not that complicated if you think in that way. You think just about priority, honestly, you're a part of the problem yourself. Change what we're doing. So is this pedestrian crossing area to the right on that junction? Yes, absolutely you'd give way if someone was there. There's an area here as well. Yeah, so these people, if they were further up, yes, give way to them. But I tend to say probably 15 yards, 15 meters, something like that. Even there, just be mindful that people still might just walk out. So let's have a little look at this roundabout again. Where I'm gonna go this time. Um, I'm gonna go left, literally, because there's a lady who wants to cross. Brilliant. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit here. There's no one close behind. There's two people. Thank you. Thank you. You're all right, buddy. And as you can see, you're watching all around, still checking to see what's what around me before I move off, because you're gonna get some impatient people. I spotted a cyclist there. While we're sat there, our cyclist sometimes gonna nip through the inside. Yeah, should they? No. But again, it's a part of our job as good drivers to deal with the other idiots. Now, I think we've had a fair few examples. I haven't been able to find um, a traffic light junction just yet that, although, is he going to walk out? No, nope. sound, he shouldn't be parked there on zigzags either, buddy. Um, I haven't been able to find a traffic light junction yet. Um, I'm going to go and have a little look on the way back, on the way back to mine. I think I've covered a majority of the things. Now, I just want to talk about that as well. If there were pedestrians wishing to cross there, that situation with the four-wheel drive may very well become dangerous. That's one of the things that you've got to be careful of if you're in the same situation as the four-wheel drive. And in fact, if you were in my scenario there, if I was going to give way to people crossing that road, that four-wheel drive may very well assume that I'm giving way to them. It's because people are so sort of like car-based. It's just everything car, 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 car but we need to think about these pedestrians. So if you're turning right and a car in my scenario sits and gives way, think about what it's for. Don't be too impatient. Okay. So I haven't been able to, like I said, find a junction where um, it's traffic light controlled, um, but there's an area that we still may have to give away. I'm gonna go and try and find one of them on the way home so I can put it in this video as well. Just seeing the cyclist up ahead. Um, I've actually interestingly found when I've seen cyclists over the past week or so, I've seen people giving them a little bit more room. I don't know whether it's just because, uh, what was that Porsche like? Yeah, that Porsche, although he was bombing, he was going way too quick. He did give the, uh, the cyclist a fair amount of room there as well. So I don't know whether um, you've been out on your bike since these uh, these updates have been mentioned. I know today's the, the tick box day, but um, let me know in the comments how you found other motorists respond and have been working with you while you've been on your bike. Now, this scenario, I'm gonna do a right turn. Um, perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at these scenarios here. There's a crossing area that has not got any boxes to help people cross this section of road. And this is the bit that I think needs clarification from someone in the Department of Transport. Do we give way to people here? Or do we just treat it like there are boxes? And is it down to people to find their own way across? And that's the big unknown. And unfortunately, I can't answer that. 
And on that bombshell, Ashley doesn't know something. We're going to leave this video as it is. I hope that's been useful. Keep safe, and I hope to see you soon.